everyone and welcome to my flip through Friday. I started on this fall journal and it was the intention it was going to be mine. But I just lost interest in it along the way. Plus, I do mostly creative journaling for my personal use. And I'm, I have one that I'm working in. And fall will be over before I ever fall and winter probably both be over before I ever finish that one. So, what I've had to do is, well, I messed up. I started putting pockets and tags in it, and I never do those in my own. And actually, I don't do it in the ones I sell now either. I attach them with a clip or a hidden paper clip or one of the Tim Holtz mini paper clips. I never glue them down because that's what my customers have requested. And I always put ephemera packs with them so that they can make more decorations if they want. So I started working on ephemera packs for this one. I've got some fall color card stocks. Some um, ephemera out of one of the books I bought with some wording. Um, another fall ephemera one. Some more sentiments and some garment tags all together. I think it's like 10. I don't know. But anyway, this is last fall's cover. And I started out with just this part and the spine covering it. And then I bought a new book and I loved <laughs> this girl. So I put her on the cover as well. And um, here's where I messed up. I made a washi tape pocket. And I put a mini file folder and a tag in it. I didn't do much to this inside cover yet. I just put some fall leaves. And here's another page out of the book that I turned into a tuck spot and put a postcard in it with fall colors on it. This is the uh, Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, and I haven't decorated it. Here I just used some washi tape up to make the page border. Uh, this is coffee dyed tissue paper. Here's a tuck spot that I put one of my little mini notebooks in that I make. And some wording on it. Um, here's an envelope with some ephemera in it. Some little mini pieces. And really, if you see, by doing this, I feel there's not much writing space. And I do a lot of writing. So that's why I decided I'm not going to use it myself. Here's a pocket I made with a fall tag. I made these last year. They were leftovers. Some Tim Holtz wash fabric washi tape for page edge. Same here. This is a fabric pocket with tags in it. And this is actually washi tape on this background there and here is actual washi tape is the tuck spot with a little tag in it and some more of the country lady Edwardian lady what do you call it anyway yeah that country diary of an Edwardian lady this is a washi tape tag you just put washi tape on it to make a background this is washi tape and just put a couple tags in there that I've had for a while, so I'd use them up. Here's another one of my little note cards with the washi tape top. Um, this is washi tape pocket. I used a lot of washi tape, didn't I? And then I used some embroidery thread for the tassel on the pocket, on the tickets. But these are left over from last year, but I decided to stick them in here. And the papers came from Jennifer Dobson. I think that's who it was. Pretty sure that's these papers I bought. And I put some coffee dye paper in with it. This is a piece of fabric. And just stuck some little tags in it. This is a notebook, notepad, with different vintage papers mixed in. And I put that in the top, because it's an open pocket. And then I put another pocket down here. And this is just a stacked multi-layer tag but the background on this is washi tape um let's see 
this is yep it's, oh I didn't finish that that's got to be finished that's another pocket with some coffee dye vellum in it this is plant smiles grow laughter and harvest and this is just colored cord stock some more just this is a vintage postcard that I put Jim Holtz fabric tape down and just turn it into a flip and I just use some bits and pieces I had left over from the um, dyed papers and made a border for the page and I do still have a lot of blank pages so I will be putting more ephemeral with it I just I lost interest in it um, here's a pocket with a tag on it as soon as I started gluing stuff in it, I lost interest. To me, it takes away from the book. I don't know. I know everybody doesn't feel that way, but to me it does. Here's a little house that I put on cardstock to make a pocket. I've got two of the tags, and it just says, let's stay home. So I thought that'd be cute with that. The papers are awesome. They really are. I want to say both of these came from Jen. I'm almost positive because of the design in it that they both came from her. Um, here's another page from the Edwardian lady, and I just made a flip up of that. A little notepad I just put on the edge here, and a piece of washi tape over the top. Here's a tag, and this is washi. You can tell I'm trying to use up a lot of washi tape. Here's another fabric pocket with Tim Holtz fabric tape. And this is washi tape on the edge. I'll probably put all of the fall washi tape I have left over in with it too. Because I want to um, get rid of those. This is washi tape. And as you see, I've got dryer sheet stuck in here because I don't know how long this is going to be packed up before I do anything with it and I live in Florida and it gets very humid very humid so believe it or not the dryer sheets not only make it smell good but they do draw the humidity out of the paper the moisture out of the paper and this is funny because I don't know if y'all ever watched um, Popeye when you were younger or you see reruns of it now, but this reminds me of a blippy burger and coffee dyed paper. And when I saw that, I said, hmm, that looks like blippy burger. This is just um, some Tim Holtz ephemera, a piece of ribbon. That's all I had left of it, so I said, why not? Here's another little pocket with a felt, with a fabric leaf. And this is actually, um, an index card with a painting paper on it and I put a little Julian button on it and yeah a lot of the stuff could go into vintage journals that you'll see but my thing is I'm trying to use up everything I have so if I see something that's a color I think we'll go with it I'm going to use it this is another one of the Edwardian ladies I just haven't done anything with it. I didn't turn it into a tuck or anything. I just put it in here and folded it to fit. And let's see. I think I have another one back here. I do. Hmm. I must have trimmed this one down. And in the back, I have a ribbon with another scraps of cardstock that I turned into a little note card, notebook. And that's it. This is my fall journal flip through. And yeah, most likely this one will be going somewhere else. I it'd be next fall before I ever get around to using it, so I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with it. I do want to put a closure on it of some sort. It kinda got alligator mouth. I didn't make the spine big enough 
for the papers I wanted to use up. <coughs> so, actually it's the same spine from last year's journal that I did use up. I just didn't want to take this whole thing apart and redo the spine. So, it, I hope you got a few ideas. You reuse your journal covers. If you have any leftover, if remember you didn't use from one season, bring it out the next season. Don't keep hoarding this stuff. Really, it'll make you feel bad eventually. Get rid of it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.